Squirt, squirt up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back. And today we are starting off Killing Floor 2. Now, real quick, we're not doing maps today. We are actually going to be taking a look at the perks first. Now, if you guys want to hear a discussion on why I'm doing perks, please watch today's um, Wolfenstein The New Order video. Um, it's the first topic I talk about, and I'll talk about why I'm doing perks first. Pretty much, let's start this off on showing off the berserk how I or my berserker tree how I have my skill set up so I've done a skill tree video before but here I'm gonna go more in depth so our skills are skirmisher butcher resistance massacre and Zed time Spartan now skirmisher move 20% faster and sprint 25% faster when using a perk melee weapon you also regenerate two points of health every second so you move faster you sprint faster when you have a perk weapon now honestly with berserker you're always gonna have a, a perk weapon why would you not have something that's special to that perk um this is way better because you also have the two points of health every second that you regenerate as compared to having 20 or 75 percent more health so obviously skirmisher was a better choice in my opinion we have butcher attack 20 percent faster and do 25 percent more damage with perk melee weapons once again you're a berserker you're gonna stick with berserker perk weapons you're not gonna be using like swat weapons as a berserker why would you as com i felt this is better because you know you you're, you attack faster and you do 25% more damage. As we're Vampire, you heal 4 points of health for every Zed you kill with perk weapons. Attack 20% faster with perk melee weapons. Uh, this is neither here nor there. You could use either one. But I just felt that um, attack 20% faster and then do 25% more damage is more helpful. Because one, you're already regenerating 2 points of health over here. Sure, you can regenerate 6 points of health if you kill an enemy. But I just felt Butcher was a better choice. Resistance. Gain 20% resistance to all damage. Gain additional 20% resistance to poison and sonic damage. So basically, um, bloat and uh, siren damage is negated. You're not negated, but you gain more resistance to it. As we're a parry, you know, you uh, reduce incoming damage by 40%. And um, let me see. Parrying with a... You have to parry first off. For parry to work, you have to be parrying with a perk weapon. Uh, reduces incoming damage 40% and increases both melee damage speed. So... You get some good stuff, but you have to be able to parry perfectly to actually use it. Um, in power, we have Massacre. Light attacks with perk weapons do 30% more damage, and all attacks with perk weapons are 5% faster. So we have 25% speed and, what, 55% more damage. As compared to hard attacks with perk weapons do 50% more damage, do 25% more damage on head hits. This, you have to do your right click. It's going to be slower but stronger. And lastly, um, Spartan. During Zed time, you attack with perk weapons and move in real time. So, as compared to heal 25% health and Zed's close to you, try to flee when you enter Zed time. So, Spartan, once again, you're faster and you move in real time. So, that's off that's obviously a better upgrade to have. So, we're going to move on to just an easy map just to talk about how I use weapons. Then, at the end of the video, we'll be playing on Krampus Slayer. We're playing on hard. We're doing short four waves because I'm not really here to show off these maps. I'm here to show off how I do everything. So, it should be a quick like video. Afterwards, we'll load up a test map and I'll show you how the final weapons work against, you know, all the boss Zed. So, be back in a second. So, we're here. We're on Krampus Slayer. Um, the reason I also choose this map is because you have all this ammo around. Um, it's the reason why I like these holdout style maps because you have all this ammo around you don't have to waste any money on ammo You get you can find random weapons on this map too that you could sell to get money easier So as you see here, you know, we take damage. We're already at 82 health and every second we're getting two points of health you could Kind of live off of this. Um, just be forewarned You shouldn't try to live off of you know, just the heal if you if your health gets too low Obviously heal yourself, you know, and then you'll still be getting um, double healing in a sense So as you see here, we also take less damage from below attacks um, Yeah, honestly Berserker is just such a great perk deck to have this would honestly be the first one you want to level up um, When I have challenges I'm trying to do I love using Berserker like um Main reason is because like I'm saying you don't have to worry about uh, ammo you're a berserker. You're using melee weapons. Melee weapons don't use up ammo unless you're using the pulverizer. But I'm saying you have all these ammo around. You have all these weapons you can pick up and sell. Um, another reason why I chose this map specifically to show this off. So by the end of wave one, maybe wave two is like the latest you want to go. But if you play on hard at the end of wave one, pretty much, you know, just sell your Krovel. Your Krovel is a good weapon, but... I prefer the katana. It has slightly more damage. A lot of people say don't buy the katana. You know, stick with the crovel. 
me personally, I always like to go with the um, katana. Once again, these videos aren't an end-all be-all to like conversation of Berserker. This all comes down to personal preference, how you like to play. If you like the Krovel and you hate the Katana, by all means, please go ahead, stick with the Krovel. It, I'm saying, it's just a slight upgrade in damage, but still, either way, I just prefer having a Katana. Um, you know, this is the way I am in all games. I'd rather have a weaker weapon that's faster than, you know, a stronger weapon that's slower. So, like, you know, fighting games, would you rather have a quick enemy or would you rather have a strong enemy? Both are good in their own sense, but... You know, I just prefer the quicker enemy. I could get maybe, maybe five hits from a faster enemy might equal one hit from a stronger enemy. But there's that problem of, is that one hit going to connect? Here, I could just spam attack. And look, I'm just going to demolish everyone. You know, um, this class works good on suicidal. I constantly play suicidal as berserker. Um, I usually always use a katana and pulverizer. As of recently, I started using the Bone Crusher, which is a good weapon. We'll talk about it more, but the Katana should be the first weapon you purchase. Um, I don't care for any other weapon. I don't care for the Vlad Nail Gun. Um, I don't care for the Zweihander, or whatever it's called. Um, we'll take another look at the weapons in a minute when we get down to the next level. But honestly, what I'm saying, me personally, the way I play, the way I've been successful is always just Katana as soon as possible. It's only 650 dosh. You could gain that easily, you know. Like I'm saying, by the end of Wave 1, you should have enough dosh to uh, buy it. Especially if you're playing on Krampus Lair, you know, pick up all the weapons and sell them. As we're going to do through here, we're just, you know, we're already set on money. We don't need to purchase anything else. We just need to buy the um, Pulverizer. But, you know, quickly run through, especially if you have Skirmisher, you know, you have all these things. You could run a lot faster. You could pick up all the weapons before it's too late. So, you know, quickly go through, pick up all the weapons, sell them, do whatever you got to do to make sure you have enough. Um, let's go through these weapons. Once again, at the end of the video, I'm going to a test map and we'll look at everything. So, Krovel, good weapon to start off with. You should never buy it. You should start off with it anyways. Vlad 1000 Nail Gun, don't like it. Don't care for it. Um, Zweihander used to be good. It's been nerfed a lot. Not worth it. Eviscerator, not really worth it. Sure, it does a lot of damage. It's just not a worth it weapon for me. 100%, you know, only worth it weapons are Bone Crusher, Pulverizer, and Katana. Which we'll talk about more in a second. Now... You know, I'm saying, you should start off with the Krovel. Secondly, go to the Katana. Katana does decent amount of damage, but it's just really quick weapon. Um, next weapon you want to buy, definitely, is the Pulverizer. By the time you get to the Pulverizer, you have these bigger Zeds coming at you. You have Scrakes, you have Flesh Pounds, you have um, Quarter Pounds. You have these bigger Zeds, and the Pulverizer just takes care of any big Zed coming at you. It's a great weapon to have. It should just always be in your, um, in your weapons list. It should just always have it. Um, there's no reason you shouldn't have it, honestly. One, it does normal good damage that way. Two hits to kill a gore fest. But then the main thing about the Pulverizer, in case you don't know, is the right click, which we gotta find a Zed to demonstrate it on. So the right click is slower, but it does that shotgun um, explosion damage. So that's always good to have. But like I'm saying, the Katana is still a good weapon, even on Suicidal on our enemies. You should only keep the Pulverizer for bigger Zeds. You know, Scrake, Quarter Pounds, um, Flesh Pounds. That's it. Don't be using your um, Pulverizer ammo on, you know, Gore Fest or Cyst or Clots. You know, I you could use it like Stalkers and stuff with just the normal Light Attack. But don't waste your Heavy Attack ammo on these normal Zeds. It's not worth it. Maybe if you have a bunch of Zeds all cornered together... And, like, you're cornered. You need to get out of there. Sure, you could kill multiple Zeds with the explosion in one hit. But it's not just... Don't use it willy-nilly. You need to save it for the right time. You only have 20 hits of it. So, you know, use it carefully. Don't just be like, oh, look, a claw. And, bam, right hit. Because, bam, he just wasted a shot that could have went towards Scrake. Um, quarter pounds take two hits to kill with the right hit. Flesh pounds take three. And Scrakes take four hits. Um, you know, it's just what I've discovered playing on Suicidal Hard. So, you know, it's a good weapon. Um, I'm saying you could end it here. You could stick with just the, um, you could stick with just, uh, whatchamacallit, Katana and Pulverizer and you'll do good. But, you know, maybe you want a little bit more damage. Maybe you want something a little bit better. You know, keep your Pulverizer, but sell your Katana and buy the Bone Crusher. It would be a lot better. It's going to be a better weapon. Um... It's still fast, but not fast enough for my preference. That's why, like, Katana is just the quickest weapon in the Berserker class. 
Um, you know, you get some good hits off on enemies. But I'm saying there's always a better version of the katana, which would be the bone crusher. Nice weapon to have, definitely worth it. Um, let's see what do we got here. I'm saying I don't even need to be picking up these weapons to sell them anymore. But I just, you know, I want to pick them up and sell them anyway. So let's go pick up whatever weapon this is over here. Thankfully, keep your perk weapon in your hand, and you could run a lot faster. Um, the funny thing is, the Berserker starts off with two perk weapons in a sense. Obviously, the knife, which is the lawnmower blade, still counts as a perk weapon. It's decent, it's just, I don't use it. I don't want to put my life in the hands of that. So, Bone Crusher. If we look here, that's how much damage a Katana does. That's how much the, the Bone Crusher does. Definitely a bigger weapon. The problem with the Bone Crusher, in my opinion, though, is that I have this weird thing where if I try to, um... If a crowd of enemies are together and I try hitting them with the Bone Crusher, it doesn't always kill a bunch of the enemies. It actually ends up knocking out a few, so... You know, with the Katana, I don't have that problem of knocking an enemy out. I kill them, you know? But this, if, like, a bunch of these guys are together and I try hitting them at once, a lot of them are just gonna be, um... You know, knocked out, and that's not what I like. I don't want to knock an enemy out. I want to kill him. Um, so here we are. Pulverizer, right click against flesh pound or quarter pounds. So I see two hits. We got what was that? Triple kill off them. Um, another thing about the bone crusher is it has the bash button. If you use the bash button, it's pretty much a one hit, one kill, and it causes them to explode into you know this mist. So pretty cool, pretty strong weapon. Definitely stronger than a Katana, but, you know, might not have the speed. It could do a good hit, but once again, if too many enemies are nearby, you're going to knock them out. Once again, I'm not here to knock an enemy out. I'm here to kill these Zeds. I don't want to knock them out. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to show the knockout, but maybe here. You see, he got knocked out. I don't want that. I don't want him to not be knocked out, look as if he's dead, fall, and then get up. I don't need him getting back up. So, I don't notice that problem with any other weapon, you know, it's just that, just the Bone Crusher is the only one that does that, which is kind of irritating. But other than that, as you see, it also does pretty strong hit. So, yeah, that's a pretty good all-around weapon. Now, on to the final Zed, Jesus Christ. This is where the games here are going to say it likes you or it hates you. In all honesty, when it comes to Berserker... You want to pray you either get Hans or the King Flesh Pound. If you get the Patriarch, it's going to be annoying. You can do it, but it's going to be annoying. If you get the Abomination, just not kill yourself. Don't quit, but it's just going to be a huge headache. Hans, pretty easy to kill. Um, he runs at you. He doesn't have armor. He's not invisible. He's a straight-up enemy. As you see here, pretty much as Berserker, I just want to use the Pulverizer, and I want to do 100% right clicks. That's all I want to be doing, you know, reload, pick up some ammo, right clicks only. You don't want to be um, left clicking, you don't want to be using anything else. Be careful though, because Hans also does have the ability where when he's in his armor mode, when he has this like shield up, he'll rush you and he'll try to steal some health off of you. As you see, we got a nice multi hit there, we got four kills. Surprisingly, there he is. There he goes with the um grab. He heals himself, but you heal yourself also. Thankfully, he had one hit left, and then his shield blew up. But he will heal himself off of you, so, you know. Be careful with that. Uh, let's see. We're still doing good on ammo, but let's just go grab some more. I'm saying, boss fights, 100% right click. You shouldn't be normal hitting them. You know, your right click is going to be a lot better with the pulverizer. Because you want to be doing straight up damage to them. You don't want to, you know, just... You don't want to tickle them. You want to knock them out. You see here he took out our shield. No problem because we're still healing great. Thankfully we got put into Zed time so that makes it easier. Don't get too cocky though. Like I'm saying, even though you're healing two points of health every one second, the enemies are going to be doing more than two health every shot. So here we are. Final hit right there. Done. And now we're going to do our whole little loading thing. We're going to see what's going on. Um, I'm going to load up a test map only available on PC. And I'm going to show you how this perk, how this setup works against the Patriarch and the King Flesh Pound. Which, spoiler alert, 
if you get Hans, you're lucky. If not, you're going to be in for a headache. So as you see here, I'm opening up the test map. You need to go into console commands. That proves it's only PC. Um, if you ever, if you have Killing Floor 2 on PC and you want to see how to run it, um, just Google uh, Killing Floor 2 some test map. You have to download the map first off, off of the um, Steam community. Then you could, you know, use it and it'll work. Um, yeah, you start out this map. You could use everything in this map. You could look at all these Zeds. You could, you know, you start out with infinite money. So let's start off Bone Crusher, Pulverizer, Max Ammo, everything. So you have all these Zeds you can spawn. Like, let's say I want to spawn her. You interact with her, you press E, and then bam. She spawns in, and you just beat her head in. So it's pretty cool. Um, only thing that sucks about this map is the Abomination isn't here, which is isn't too bad personally i don't like the abomination i fucking hate that boss fight but um you have the king flesh pound here you have scrake you have normal flesh pound let's show this weapon off against the scrake because we didn't do that once again we're playing on hard so let's show you how it does against the uh, scrake one two three oh well he died three times so i guess on a uh, you know hard he dies after three hits on suicidal he takes four um, that should mean that the Flesh Pound should take, what, two or three hits? I just know on Suicidal, it takes four hits for a Scrake to die. See, three hits on everything, okay. But, yeah, we already killed Hans, um, he's super easy. Let's grab armor, just in case, you know, to show us off. Let's go after the Patriarch. I don't like this boss fight at all, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, three... Let's see, three hits, four, five hits. Let's grab some more armor. So it took five hits. He's gonna run away. Just showing you this isn't an easy fight. And you gotta imagine on a bigger map that he's gonna be running away too. So we've already done 15 hits. 16, 17, 18, 19. Come on. 20 hits, he's still up. By this point, you should be out of ammo. You shouldn't have any more ammo at all. He's probably gonna go heal. Yeah. But I'm saying, you know, he heals too. Which he's gonna do this whole bullshit. So we're at 25 hits so far. He's still up and fucking coming after us. Twenty-eight hits. It took twenty-eight hits to kill the patriarch. That's kind of a headache you know usually final boss maps only have three or four ammo things this one thankfully has unlimited ammo so i could always come use it but you know on a normal map patriarch is going to be kind of annoying here we have against the king flesh pound you know he's a lot easier than patriarch it's a lot easier than abomination um truth be told i haven't fought the abomination with this weapon yet so or with this perk deck um I don't want to know how that goes either. I like I, said, I fucking hate the abomination. Worst enemies brought. You know, I'm sorry. I know Tripwire Interactive is probably happy about him. They're happy about what they made. Me personally, I do not like the. Ab I don't like the abomination at all. I wish he was never added to the game. I wish there was a way to, um, you know, take him out of the game so I don't have to play against him. Um, another thing about the King Flesh Pound. If you don't know, when he shoots his laser, if you duck, the laser goes right above you. That's not a glitch. That's how the character was created. He can't control the laser up or down. So just be aware of that. Let's see. Come on. And they can't come past this wall. So that's a cool thing about the test map. Uh, it shows it off. I see at this point he has a shield up. We've already hit him 20. No, like 17 times. See, just duck. He misses. So 20 hits and, you know, we're out of ammo. Uh, we hit him twice with the normal hammer. He should be dead at this point pretty soon. 
Uh, ah, he threw us in. Okay, we didn't get ammo. Sweet. So, let's see. Final hit should be coming right here. There we go. That was 26 hits plus 2 normal hits. No, wait. Yeah, that's 26 hits plus 2 normal right clicks. So, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be using... You know, if you're playing as Berserker to begin with, you shouldn't end the final wave, you know, the boss wave on Berserker. This is going to be a headache. You could easily do it, but... You know, you want to stick to Pulverizer. As soon as you're done with Pulverizer ammo, run and hit him with the Bone Crusher because it's going to do more damage overall. But, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That was the first episode of our Killing Floor 2 series. Next week, we'll be back when we take a look at Commando because this is going to be a weekly of, you know, a weekly type of series. Um, you know, Berserker, once again, good perk deck. Great from Wave 1 to whatever. But Final Boss... Don't use, you know, Berserker on the final boss. Unless you're fucking amazing with him. I'm decent with Berserker, but I don't like fighting bosses of Berserker. There's so many better classes to play as. So, guys, until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for Wolfenstein later today. Bye.